But instead, I'm Lisa Stewart. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer for KITP. Um, Lars happens to be traveling, which is why I'm standing in for him. But welcome. I'm glad that you're all here. Um, just a couple of housekeeping sorts of announcements that we have this morning. Um, so first of all, how many people are here for the first time? This is the question every, great, it looks like about, oh, you're too. Um, welcome, we're, we're always glad to see a mixture of um, first timers and people who are returning, so that's fantastic. Um, so KITP is supported by the NSF, as is this conference, so thank you to the NSF. Um, one of the things that I like to emphasize when I introduce the conferences is the code of conduct, which is uh, printed into your folder, but also just I like to um, call attention to it. It's also printed in the hallway, and we have um, both a UCSB and a KITP um, code of conduct. The basics of that are um, be respectful of each other, listen to each other. Um, it's everyone's responsibility here to help create an inclusive environment. So please um, do what you can to support that. Um, if you have any um, questions, you're welcome to find me at any time. Also, if you experience any issues um, that would be counter to that um, agreement, um, please come talk to me as well. Uh, cell phones, speaking of respectful behavior, please turn them off. Uh, we don't want those in our recordings of our talks or interrupting our speakers. Um, KITP program. So sometimes people have questions about um, how KITP programs and conference come to be. Um, if you have questions about that, talk to uh, anyone here who is in our advisory board or who has been. I don't see any faces that look like that. But you're, you're welcome to ask questions about that. There's also information on our website. Ideas for these events come from you, the community that we serve. So scientists submit these ideas. Our advisory board vets them and, and helps develop them. And, ultimately approves the ideas they get. Ah, here's one, you can talk to him if you have questions about how the advisory board works. Elliot is here, he's our current board member. Um, and then uh, the KITP staff will be at the registration desk on all your breaks, uh, meal breaks and lunches. So if you have questions, feel free to um, go to the front desk. One of the things that I've been getting, uh, hearing that there've been lots of questions about is hats. Um, you will get hats, free hats, um, but not today. So starting tomorrow, you're welcome to co go to that front desk during any of your breaks and pick out a hat of your choice, um, multiple colors, and you can get advice from the staff if you want, like help in choosing what looks best on you. Um, Wi-Fi access, it's Edgerome, but if you can't get on Edgerome, let us know and we can give you um, the KTP password. Um, if you're tweeting, or whatever they call it, Xing, I don't know. Um, the hashtag for this conference is Uniturb C24, so Uniturb dash or hyphen C24. Um, poster sessions, there are poster boards. You're welcome to put your posters up, but if you run it, there, if there's no space for your poster, then um, there'll be a sign-up sheet on the front desk. So if you get, uh, you get there and the space is all full, um, then sign up and we'll, uh, what's your name? Sasha, Sasha will, uh, <laughs> will help you figure that out. There'll be lightning talks on Wednesday and Thursday um, about your posters as well. Uh, let's see, meals and breaks. The, I think they told you this at the front desk when you checked in, but be sure to always have your name tag on. That's your ticket into the courtyard for your meals and breaks. Also, if you have anyone who's planning to join you for dinner um, that's not already registered for this conference, on um, we have dinners on Wednesday, Thursday, then you have to see Claudia today and pay for that extra person. Um, shuttles are, are, are uh, departing on both uh, Tuesday and Friday immediately after the talks end, and then after the dinner immediately um, on the the Wednesday, Thursday nights. Um, and those shuttles are, um, you meet them at the same place where you got dropped off if you took the shuttle here. Um, and then if you have any final day transportation requests, 
Um, there's a sign-up sheet at the front desk where you can say, you know, you want to go to the airport or the whatever various places that we take people, Amtrak, la la. Um, um, just make sure you sign up before you, the final day and we'll, we'll shuttle people around on the final day. Um, toilets, another important thing <laughs> to mention. Uh, men and women's rooms are to the left down this hallway and then there's an all gender bathroom to the right down the end of that hallway. So um, that is it for me. Um, have a fabulous conference. Thanks, Lisa, for your very kind introduction. It's a pleasure to be the chairperson of the first session today. Uh, this is a part of a program which has been running already for three, four, uh, four, four uh, five, six weeks. Um, and this is the highlight of this um, entire program. We will run for another uh, month. And so if uh, important questions will emerge, this will be part of uh, the things I will collect. And of course, we will collect questions that emerge during the session for the discussion session that will be uh, the second part of this morning session. So uh, we heard already about the posters, uh, about questions. I am instructed to be strict with the time and I therefore will do that as a first person of this meeting. Um, if you have questions, please just stand up uh, and go to one of the two microphones at the end. So that will be the default me uh, method. Uh, the li red light should be uh, on in both of the mics. It may be off when you go there, but then there's a button on those mics that you switch on, and then you see the red light. Uh, and you can check uh, like this uh, that the mic is actually working. So uh, with this, uh, we have the first talk now by, uh, by Susan Clark, and she will be talking about magnetic fields in the turbulent multiphase interstellar medium. With that, Clark, uh, Susan, please.